a blessing day to all. Do you know what is the speciality of this day? I mean, do you know what day it is? In this period of time, like two to three months, I didn't even know or realize what day it is. All these days were the same day after day. We all used to get excited when our weekends come by, but now we don't even know which day it is. I mean, I don't. Today is June 19th, the leading day. Well, today is the day thousands and thousands of children and adults and elderly ones and all the book lovers get excited and enjoy it. I know this is a very miserable and disturbing time right now. The pandemic has spread all around the world and, and India has been rated as the fifth largest country to be affected by coronavirus, COVID-19. And the only thing that we can do right now is to stay at home and stay safe and let others stay safe. Because of this coronavirus outbreak, our schools are forced to close their doors for the unforeseeable future and thereby closing the doors to one of our important source of information and knowledge in current affairs from which we get the information about all the important days, our school assembly. Because of this virus, we've been forced to shun ourselves from picking up the key to the room which is filled with immense pleasure and full of knowledge, our school library. So, here we are, the children of Camping School with a magnificent news. The reading day is being reconfigured into a virtual celebration and we invite each and everyone out there to have a fascinating journey with us. We invite everyone to celebrate with us online the reading day 2020. Do you know that great readers make great writers and great writers make great communicators and great communicators make great persuaders and great persuaders makes great society and that's what the world needs. So we, the young generation, should hold on to reading. It is the key to our kingdom. So just go out there, find a good book, not just any book, the best which is recommended by others and, and just go for it. To read is to voyage through time. To visit places you will never otherwise go. To experience the world of imagination, adventure and discovery. Now I would like to invite Uttara Menon to speak a few words on the benefits and importance of reading. A pleasant day to all. Read, read and read. You may go places that you have never been before. Within a split of second, you can face the beautiful sunset remaining cozily tucked under your sheet with a marvelous book in your hand. From the invention of letters from Mesopotamia, our civilization has well groomed into a lifestyle where words play the very essence of life. And reading being the yin to the yang of words helps to see the world the way it's meant to be seen. The moment you step into the world of books, you discover yourself. You understand the reality in a flawless manner. When you keep on reading new books, you start learning and experiencing new things. And you start understanding better and much faster than before. You start seeing things in a new way. Your point of view changes. In fact, I can say it improves. It helps to remove negativity from our life and also saves us from negative people. It just gives an entirely new meaning to our life. Books are always a storehouse of memories. They capture your memories much but better than pictures. If you have never given reading a try, then remember that it's never too late to start a good habit. Thank you. Hey everyone, guess who's back? Well, I am here to welcome my friend who is going to talk about a book. I mean, it's a book review. So, uh, while we were preparing this, I asked her, why did you choose this book? I mean, there are lots and lots of books out there, but why this particular one? 
I mean, what is it that made her feel that this is the right book? And it's so interesting. So her words were that we are trying to appeal to a larger audience, class one to class twelve. So, and this book is good for all ages. It is child friendly, but not so kiddy. I mean, it is uh, very interesting and fun, and it's a fiction, and it's having a happy. Oops, spoiler alert! But I'm not gonna spoil any more fun out of it. So, without wasting any more time, I would like to welcome Shweta Thomas to give us a book review on the book. Well, which book? Let's find out. Since today is reading day, on behalf of our literary club, I'm going to be introducing a book I've been reading during this lockdown period. The name of the book is A Series of Unfortunate Events. It is written by Daniel Handler. His pen name at that time was Lemony Snicket. The first book was published on 30th September 1999. Now, the series in total has 13 books. It has become a great hit among the readers ever since its movies came out. Now, I'm going to be talking more about the story. The story revolves around the three children, the Bordlers. In the beginning, there was an unfortunate incident. A mysterious yet terrible fire took place which killed both of their parents. They were orphaned. Throughout the story, we see their escapes from Count Olaf, who was originally their guardian, but turned out to be a villain who was after their family fortune. They go through many struggles and adventurous escapes and in the end are finally free from Count Olaf, ready to step into society together to face new adventures. I highly recommend this book as it was a very enjoyable one. I hope you all enjoy it too. Thank you. Hey guys, do you guys know about different types of genres in books? They are like different stages of our lives, different moments that occurs in our lives. Our lives are full of drama and mystery and romance and even like fiction, unbelievable things can happen. One of our brother and sister from our Campion family is here to give us more clarity on different types of genres. Cyberpunk is a subgenre of science fiction set in a dystopian futuristic setting that tends to focus on a combination of low life and high tech. Featuring advanced technological and scientific achievements such as artificial intelligence and cybernetics. Its worlds have often experienced breakdown or radical change in the social order, leading cyberpunk societies to function in vastly different ways than ours. Much of cyberpunk is rooted in the new wave of science fiction movement of the 1960s and the 1970s, when writers examined the impact of drug culture and technology, while avoiding the utopian tendencies of earlier science fiction. Comics exploring cyberpunk themes began appearing as early as Judge Dredd, first published in 1977. Released in 1984, William Gibson's influential debut novel, Neuromancer, would help solidify cyberpunk as a genre, drawing influence from punk subculture and early hacker culture. Today we are about to introduce you to the rock book. Fiction, which is based on imagination and there are a lot of fiction, like fantasy fiction, scientific fiction, thriller fiction, and a lot. So go for scientific fiction, steampunk. Steampunk is a retro-fiction hybrid subject, which incorporates technologies and ideas which are inspired in the 19th century of the transformation development. The most recognized feature of the steampunk is this invention in the 19th century, so people in the 19th century have imagined their life in fitness, tradition, culture, arts, etc. This technology also includes fictional machinery and alternate style of presentation adopts modern technology. If you really want to explore the world of steeper, I recommend the book of Informal Devices. I would like to start with the words from a speech said by Mr. Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google. Be open, be impatient, be hopeful. If we can do that, the history will remember the class of 2020. 
not for what you lost but for what you changed you have the chance to change everything i'm optimistic you will i would like to introduce a small piece of work done by us the students of class 12 of campion school read dream share a newsletter on reading day it is very knowledgeable and entertaining it includes games like crossword short stories interesting activities write ups and many more now i request our director sir dr k v thomas to inaugurate the newsletter i feel extremely happy to release the newsletter titled read dream share prepared and produced by campbell students at this moment i remember the sentence of sir francis bacon lived in the latter part of the 16th and early part of the 17th century in england on reading speaking and writing i quote reading make up a full man conference a ready man and writing an exact man it is good to remember on this reading day 19th june that reading illumines our minds and enlightens our imagination let us go back to our habit of reading and enjoying it fully thank you